excessive noise levels can increase the fatigue, the discomfort of the driver and can increase the risk of accident. So what we're looking at is actually new technologies to reduce noise inside vehicles. The problem that we're looking at is what is called road noise. It's actually the noise which is created by the rolling of the tire over the tiny irregularities of the road surface. This creates the noise that we hear most of the time at, say, cruise speed on the highway. All these phenomena are waves, actually. So you can do active control of vibration or active control of sound. We measure something, uh, in this case a vibration field, for example, and, and we, we, we decide on what we are going to do to control this field using actuators. We have quite a few uh, sensors, which are accelerometers, for example, in, in this case, and, and we have quite a few actuators. But to come from this lab demo to a, a real implementation, a real car, uh, we still have a number of steps to go through, and, 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 and one of them would be to reduce the size of, let's say, or the complexity of the system. We have a number of researchers working at uh, UBC on this project, at Simon Fraser at Windsor University at McGill and here at Sherbrooke. So it's, it's really important to have this network in place. We are trying to see how we can use magnesium, uh, I mean magnesium alloy, as a structural part in automotive. And we are looking at the NVAs, noise and vibration part of it. We are looking at different aspects. For instance, the shape. I mean, if you shape it differently, you may come up with shapes that can optimize the vibration performance and the acoustic performance. The research will first answer the question, can magnesium be used? And secondly, can we optimize it? So we can make a front of end that is much lighter and also that is economically viable. Here at the University of Windsor, the idea is to take automobiles and not just necessarily make them quieter, but to make them sound better. One of the positives of hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles has been that they're so quiet and uh, we're very uh, environmentally conscious about emissions, but now there's a safety aspect. We have these vehicles that make absolutely no noise other than perhaps the tire noise. It's becoming a safety issue because pedestrians are walking in front of these vehicles. So what we need to do is add noise to these vehicles to make them safer, but at the same time we don't want to add to the environmental pollution or emissions of, uh, from an acoustical perspective. It's well established now that we need more and more of these groups, teams, networks to, to go across the boundaries of the disciplines and, and I think Auto21 is a good example of this with networking and it's necessary to have that in place.